peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful Libras, let's get into this energy. Yes, Libras dealing with Capricorns. Libras dealing with Capricorn. Libras dealing with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, our rising energies. Let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what's going on. Beautiful ones. In the energy with my Libras dealing with Capricorns. Spirit, tap into the energy of Libra dealing with Capricorn. Your person could have a Capricorn placement. If you have their chart, you'll know. If you don't, you may not know. You can still pull their chart, okay, without their birthday, okay? You can still pull their chart without their time of birth, excuse me. You got to at least have the birthday, right? But, yeah, just so that you know. You don't need the birthday. Our, the time of birth is what I'm getting. I mean, for more accuracy, yeah, but you can still pull the chart. So you can see where those placements exist in the chart, okay? Just in case you all are wondering about your person and their placements. Cards for Libra dealing with Capricorn. Tell the story. Libra's dealing with Capricorn. Thank you. Somebody doesn't want something to end in the energy. A Knight of Cups. <laughs> no, they don't. This is an emotional love offer. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about it. More cards for you. All right. You got a page of cups in reverse. So... This energy of a page of cups in reverse is somebody who is emotionally immature is what I'm getting. All right, two of cups. More cards energy. Tell the story. All right, we got a flipper. Four of Swords. Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of contemplating and energy. All right. You got three to come out. Six of Swords. Somebody's definitely moving on. Ten of Cups, that's domestic happiness and harmony. Ace of Swords, the truth, clarity, overall energy. Hmm. All right, there we go. Five of Wands. So let's look at this energy. Beautiful ones, you got the Knight of Cups that's out here. There's been an emotional love offer of some sort in your energy, okay? But there's someone who is operating a page of cups in reverse. Somebody who is not emotionally intelligent enough. They're immature in the energy. Uh-huh. This is the two of cups. Now, this is a divine union that's here in the energy. There's definitely a divine union here. And you could be retreating in this energy. Four of wands. Being in this four of wands energy... Thinking about some things, praying, meditating. Six of Swords. This is the energy of moving forward when it comes to that love, that Knight of Cups energy. Someone immature is connected to a Ten of Cups, okay? Someone could have had like a family or a house or something with a Ten of Cups energy. Someone that was wasn't ready for that type of lifestyle is what I'm getting. And the Ace of Swords is here. This is some truth and clarity that comes out in the energy. We're going to clarify everything, but you got the Five of Wands here, and this is some competition, okay? Jealousy, all of that. Give me the Page of Cups in reverse. All right, we got, wow. 
That's too many. Way too many. Page of Cups, Spirit. Okay. We're going to take these two. Wow. Came out crossing. Somebody doesn't want to be accountable for five of swords and someone in the energy. This is someone that's immature in the energy. And there's a five of swords energy that's here with justice that came out crossing. So this is someone that, you know, they done you dirty or they done your person dirty. And they really don't want to fess up to it. They're immature. Yeah. Overall energy, they done somebody real dirty. Ten of Swords energy. Yeah. They don't want someone to know just how dirty they did them. And I believe this is Knight of Cups energy. Give me the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Six of Pentacles. This could have been somebody that was giving to two or in this energy of trying to create a balance. Someone could have offered you a cup and still been dealing with someone else is what I'm getting. Will of Fortune is in reverse. This is bad luck. With the Ten of Pentacles, somebody's family is going through a stream of bad luck is what I'm getting. And some heartbreak. Three of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Libra dealing with Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Wow. These jumped out, but I'm taking this one that flipped over. Eight of Swords. Somebody's caught up in their head when it comes to the Six of Pentacles energy about trying to create some type of balance. Overall energy is a Three of Cups. Now, this is some type of three-party situation. Uh-huh. Seven of Pentacles that someone was investing in. They grew tired of this energy. I'm here and they no longer wanted to invest in one. They're caught up in their head. This is someone that had to make some type of the decision. Is what I'm getting. Give me this Eight of Swords. On who to give to and what to give to. And it caused some stress. Spirit. Yeah, it caused some stress, all right. Three of Pentacles. Excuse me, three of Swords. I'm getting tired. Been in the energy all morning, beautiful ones. But look, three of Swords is here. And there's some heartbreak that comes with this. And somebody's having some financial issues now because they got shook. They got left out in the cold. It could be a Queen of Pentacles energy, another Earth sign. This could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, right? But this Queen of Pentacles is could be a mother as well. Someone doesn't want to be accountable in this energy. Give me the Two of Cups. For all these swords, this deception, something caused heartbreak We're to a family. Two of Cups, thank you. Yeah, some type of collaboration when it comes to this Two of Cups energy. Two individuals getting together, collaborating. Three of Pentacles. And your overall energy is a Nine of Wands. This is someone that doesn't want to give up on this. Someone could want to collaborate with you. They don't want to give up on that energy or that thought, that possibility to collaborate with you. Is that something flying? It was looking like it. Ash or something. 
<laughs> All right, look. Yeah, nine of wands is here. Someone doesn't want to give up. When it comes to this two of cups energy and the collaboration. Give me the four of wands. Somebody's been just thinking about this a lot. Retreating in the energy. All right. Four of pentacles came out in reverse. Yeah, I held it up for you guys, but it came out in reverse. Somebody let go. Someone's under judgment over our energy. Give me the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Swords, Spirit. All right. Wow. Ace of Cups came in reverse. Yeah. Someone let go. And they let go of what I'm getting is fake love. Look, this is the Ace of Cups. In the reverse, the Ace of Cups is real love. That's the love given from the Most High, but it came in reverse. And ain't no love. And it's with this energy of a King of Wands, overall energy, who's the devil. Capricorn. King of Wands, Sagittarius. Strength, we got a Leo energy here. Mm. Give me the Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Libra, you're in this energy of moving forward, okay? Victoriously. You could be seen in the public eye. Mm-hmm. You could be supported in the public eye is what I'm getting as well. Ace of Cups in reverse is somebody who was selfish and they're repressing their emotions. This is blocked emotions. Yet, you let go of this energy. And they praying for you. Mm. Spirit, give me the Ten of Cups. Hierophant is the overall energy. Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Two of Pentacles. Now, when it comes to this Ten of Cups energy, there's some type of juggling going on, some type of unbalanced energy, a strong sense of imbalancement. Give me the Two, Pen two of Pentacles in this energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Yeah, the devil is in reverse. It came out in reverse. So this could be deep, dark thoughts, okay? This isn't always about, oh, they're getting over their addictions. No, this is not that. This is about a release. They could possibly be releasing someone. This is also about a divorce, enlightenment, and somebody restoring control. But the devil in reverse could also be somebody who's deep into dark thoughts overall energy is the nine of swords i'm going with deep into dark thoughts okay nine of swords this is anxiety and stress with two of swords behind it eight nine is ten that's a ending yeah that's an ending and that's ten swords a painful ending. Give me the devil in reverse, spirit. Libra's dealing with Capricorn. All right. Got the page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's manifesting in this energy. This is a King of Swords energy, possible Aquarius energy. Manifesting. Give me the Ace of Swords. Libra's dealing with Capricorns. All right. Seven of Cups. 
So, this is about, you know, somebody being either delusional, feeding illusions. When it comes to this energy of the truth, clarity. Give me the Seven of Cups with clarity with the Ace of Swords. It's a new beginning. Clear thoughts. Going into something knowing. Six of Cups. So someone could just be in their head about you. Six of Cups from the past. Someone from the past. Overall energy is a Queen of Cups. And look how the King of Cups is sticking out like that. Mm. So what I'm getting is there's a energy of clarity and truth. And it doesn't make anyone feel good. Somebody feels like they're missing their top. Like they just have their top chopped. All right? Somebody's been cutting themselves with their own knife is what I see. And they could be in a place or a sense of delusional, making up shit in their head. Six of Cups is here. And this is someone from your past. And y'all saw how that played out overall energy. Give me the Six of Cups. Showing the Queen of Cups is the overall energy and the King of Cups poking out. Bam, the Fool, a new beginning. Somebody's worried about your new beginning. This has been heavy in the energy. All right? Yeah, and but there's this love offer that was meant to keep you trapped in your head while somebody tried to balance you that led to heartbreak. But now you're in this energy of moving forward, being seen, in the public eye, looking, being looked at as victorious, period, okay? Give me the five of wands because somebody has some drama or something for you. Drama, five of wands. Yeah, high priestess energy. Mm-hmm. And her friends, overall energy. Three of cups. Yeah. They thought they were in competition. Moon, okay? This is the things that are hidden. They thought that they were telling secrets or keeping secrets. Tell me about the high priestess energy with the five of wands. A high priestess with the five of wands is a high priestess in reverse, okay? Especially with her friends at the end, overall energy. Give me the high priestess spirit for my Capricorns dealing with Libra. Thank you. Temperance, okay? So... This is telling me that you have angels protecting you. Uh-huh. Seven of wands, and you block this energy. Your angels have blocked this energy. Look, here go the angels, temperance angel. You learned your moderation. You learned your portion, your balance. You good, right? But there's a high priestess here that is blocked. Seven of wands. There could be a queen of pentacles energy. Somebody's baby mama or a mother figure of some sort who deals with a king of pentacles energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this could be a married couple or just a couple that has children together or something like that. These energies are blocked. And you're being covered by the most high. Yeah. And there's a high priestess that they could have felt they were in competition with. You could have a Pisces placement, even a Virgo placement, but... This is just you being in high priestess energy. Give me the temperance with the high priestess. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, you can have some spiritual gifts. Temperance with the high priestess. Yeah, you could be highly intuitive and have spiritual gifts handed down from your ancestors. It's in your bloodline is what I'm getting. Seven of wands is in reverse. Somebody wants you to unblock them, okay? They want you to unblock them in the energy, uh-huh. They want you to let your guards down to some extent, right? Death is here because you put a death to this energy. You cut off all type of communication. Any type is what I get. And they're in this energy of being a hermit now. Mm. Give me the three of pentacles. This two of cups collaboration. 
That's a new, a good vibe. Wow. I can't take all of these, but look what came out. Spirit told me take them just now. The lovers, okay? It's a good vibe, as I said. Wow, with the Empress. <laughs> the Hangman and the Star. Wow. Did you just get four major arcanas to flip over when it comes to the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, a collaboration? You Look, this is you seeing things from a new perspective and the energy are, no, that's what I get. There's been an enlightenment because you got to start us here. There's some healing that's happening in the energy. You could have Aquarius in your chart. You are your person. Don't have to be, but this is about really that energy of you learning your moderation with the temperance angel here. You are the empress, okay? You are the empress then. And you're connected to these lovers. You're making choices. You're making choices. You're choosing differently. And this energy is what I'm seeing. And you could have put a death to some things, okay? People, places. Yeah, you put a death to somebody and they're in hermit mode. That's who's down here feeling all creepy and stuff. Uh-huh. Manifesting you. Give me this page of pentacles. They don't even want to face judgment. Them are the people that they deal with. Ace of Wands. Look, they're manifesting a new beginning. They're manifesting a new beginning. And the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. They don't even want to face, like, the music from this painful ending. Or this is just a painful ending from them, for them. And they want this new beginning. That's what it feels like. Yeah, four cups. Because you're disinterested. Look, you're not worried about any type of cup that anybody has to give you. And even the tree is looking like, you tripping, you ain't gonna take that? And look, the leaf look like, hell nah, you tripping. Okay? Because it's like somebody want to sneak up on you with some type of offer. Uh-huh. Because they tend to sword at you. And it's the king of pentacles. Somebody's baby daddy. Uh-huh. So fake boss energy is what I'm getting. Give me the justice. Give me the justice. Justice came out funny, remember? Nine of pentacles. When it comes to nine of pentacles, somebody's self-sufficient. That's in forward motion with the chariot being here, overall energy. Somebody is moving forward. You're a nine of pentacles energy. Moving forward, gaining momentum. Ace of pentacles, you out here with the bag. Quit playing. Okay, I see you, Libra. And your love life looking lit over here because there's a whole lot of mutual energy. Wow. You go from that, from this, this heartbreak. Six of swords, you moving forward in this energy. Six of wands. Give me the six of wands with the six of swords. Six of wands with, thank you. We got a flipper. Wow, four of wands. 11, 11. Oh yeah. You moving forward in this energy. Compassionate. Queen of Cups energy. This is some. This is a stable foundation. It's Four of Wands energy. A Ten of Pentacles. So a Queen of Pentacles linked to a Ten of Pentacles is look. There's a Queen of Pentacles possible Pisces energy that's in your energy that she could have babies. Uh huh. She could have little girls. Look like. Uh-huh. She's a part of a family, okay? Ten of Pentacles. And the family is going through grief, loss, and regret. Over their actions, something that they created. 
Uh-huh. So look, what they created, it turned the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Yeah. Strong. Ain't no get back is what I heard. Nine of Swords, and they stressed out about it. Okay? So you clearly got somebody in your energy jealous because ain't no get back. With your person, are you flipping switch these energies? Okay, and they don't have a future. Not with your person, at least. And their own future is looking bleak. It's looking grim. Hmm. Interesting. Four of Wands. This is you out here winning, moving forward with a possible twin mate, twin soul connection. Give me the four of wands. Four of wands. Thank you. A king of cups is in reverse. Wow. There's a king of cups that's in reverse. And guess what? They're sad. That's why they're in reverse. They're sad squirrel. The king of cups in reverse is sad squirrel. Now... Beautiful ones. The energy of a king of cups that's in reverse. This is a king who is unreliable and they feel overwhelmed. Okay. They lack boundaries. They don't know how to set appropriate boundaries. And they're a sad squirrel right now. They got a bat in their hand. They want to beat something up. This king of wands, king of cups in reverse could want to fight. And look, it keeps splitting. It is seven of swords. They could have been the one, uh, what I'm getting is somebody done them dirty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Give me the King of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. This King of Cups has been so wounded by love Look, they in this energy of a ten of swords. This is why they mad. They had a long, painful ending when it came to somebody. Happy Squirrel is here. And now they're moving on. This is somebody wanting to move out this energy. What I'm getting, this is Cancer Energy. So is the King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that wants to be happy and move out of a place of pain. Ah. Um, Give me the nine of wands. That's the wounded hero. But they don't want to give up. This is someone not wanting to give up on love. Okay. That card wants out. Mm. Nine of wands. This is somebody wanting to go after what it is that they want. Mm. Knight of Swords. Assertively. Someone that wants to make changes. Very passionate about what it is they want. Hmm. Give me the Knight of Wands here with this Nine of Wands spirit. Give us this energy. Oh, yeah. Sad squirrel. Sad squirrel. Someone is sad when it comes to you, Libra. Uh-huh. Capricorn energy could be, you know, feeling some type of way about you. Queen of Swords is here. Queen of Swords. It's you. And you're connected to a Ten of Pentacles energy. Judgment is here. Why is the sad squirrel here? Why is the sad squirrel here? This is that King of Cups in reverse. Possible water sign. All right. Because of the Ten of Swords. This person has gone through a painful ending. That's why they sad with a bat in their hand, ready to beat something up. 
And the Three of Wands is here. They want to expand. This is somebody that could possibly want to be traveled across a body of water. Uh-huh. But they feel like they got a bunch of burdens that's weighing them down. Uh-huh. They feel burdened in this energy. To me, I'm getting a King of Cups that feels like he can't move how he wants to move. He feels restricted. Mm. Wow. Spirit, give me the Ace of Cups in reverse. Because what I get from this is, you know, someone's been sitting up praying, trying to get you back in the energy or your person back in their energy. But the Four of Pentacles is here. They've been let go of. Somebody was let go of. They were sacrificed in this energy. And the Ace of Cups is in reverse. This is someone who is holding back their emotions. They don't want to express themselves. They're suppressing their emotions. Give me the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. All right. The Chariot. And a Queen of Swords. Somebody wants to come towards you. Okay? They're suppressing their emotions. Ten of Pentacles is here. Somebody definitely sees you as family. Or a Ten of Pentacles energy. It's a King of Wands who's under judgment. Okay? Yeah. Look, the Chariot is here with the Queen of Swords. That's you. Right? You got somebody from your past or flip and switch these energies, but this is the Ten of Pentacles that's here, right? Someone who sees you as part of, you know, a family unit or something of that nature, they're under judgment, right? And the person that's under judgment is this King of Wands energy, okay? Who has a Four of Cups energy behind them. This is an offer that's been refused, or someone is not interested in it. So basically, this is the same rundown right here. Uh-huh. Somebody's been let go of. The cup, Ace of Cups is in reverse. And they're praying and meditating in the Four of Swords energy, retreating to get you back in the energy. Okay? But you, the cutoff queen. Uh-huh. You the queen of swords. And this love energy right here is looking way too proper. Okay? And this is a painful ending for your person is what I'm getting. This new person in your energy mm -hmm, who's moving forward. They could be seen in the public eye. You could be seen in the public eye. It's something victorious about the energy because you guys are twins. Twin flame energy. Four of wands. This is a stable union. Okay. You know, something that is stable. And a king of cups who is in reverse. Water sign in reverse. Okay. Mm. And again... This energy of a water sign in reverse is a king that pretty much is unreliable. They feel overwhelmed and they didn't practice proper boundaries. And it left them mad and upset, feeling like a wounded hero. And this nine of wands energy is something that needs to be healed in their Chiron from their early childhood. Nine of Wands is here. They want to go after what it is they want passionately, all right? It's like it gave them fuel to the fire because now they're sad squirrel, but they got a bat. They're ready to make something happen. But this is a painful ending, a painful ending. Somebody found out something. Something was exposed. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Give me this Ten of Swords. All right. Burdens. Burdens. Somebody is tired of investing into a situation. It's stressful. It's burning somebody out. Magician. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I don't get a good vibe from this. Somebody's been investing in a magician who's a page of wands. This is somebody calling action behind this magician, okay? So it's a man behind the curtain is what I'm getting. Look, seven of swords. Shh, don't tell. I'm stealing, I'm killing, I'm cheating. I'm doing all of that. Oh, yeah. Your person found out. Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody in the family or connected to their family. Are they saw as family happy squirrel is here when i split the deck 
your person, something has been illuminated in the energy. Your person found out. Will of Fortune in reverse? Someone's connected to a bunch of bad luck. And they're trying to be strong through this. As they are under judgment is what I'm getting. Mm. Give me this... Give me this energy. Let me run this down. So there's somebody that was, when it comes to the home front, the domestic happiness, somebody was being juggled too. Ten of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. And then we got the Devil in Reverse, all right? Somebody having some deep, dark thoughts is what I'm getting from this energy. And they're manifesting a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Give me the Ace of Wands. Libra, this feels like your person. That's in hermit mode. Yeah. So there is overall energy is a queen of wands flipping switches energies that had a death put to them. Look, they're in hermit mode watching. Queen of wands energy, possible Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. It's been a death put to them because things have been illuminated. The sun and somebody closed out a cycle, the world, on this energy. Hmm. Give me the hermit. And we're going to pull some tea cards and close out. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has a new beginning when it comes to prosperity and abundance, all right? Someone is in hermit mode, possibly this Queen of Wands, watching this new beginning, all right? And this death, because somebody put them to sleep. It's a, it's a death. And this has been illuminated. This is the truth. Somebody close the cycle. On any type of three-party situations they could have been involved in, their person either involved them or vice versa, right? I split the deck. Look, back to the seven of swords. Sneaking, lying, and cheating. Stealing, all of that. Let's get some emotions out here. Get ready to close out. Libra dealing with Capricorn energies. Beautiful ones. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on in the energy. Hmm. Yeah, check your person's chart if you are not sure. Again, you don't have to have the time of birth. It will just be more accurate, okay? But those planets will still be there. Gotta know where they were born, what city they were born in. And there is a link to a free natal chart. I'm actually gonna attach one in the description for you all, okay? Somebody's heartbroken and they feel rejected, okay? Mm-hmm. Heartbreak, rejected. Spirit, give me cards for my Libras. Dealing with Capricorn. Oh, hold on. Okay. I feel like somebody's getting divination done. Uh-huh. They could be paying a reader or for some services in regards to this. Libra dealing with Capricorn. You turning your back on this energy. DNA, fake news, pregnancy. Uh-huh. Yeah. This energy came out earlier when I was in the energy for Capricorn. Okay? And it came out crossing. So it could be fake news. It came out like that. So it could be just something, an attempt to hold on to somebody. You're turning your back on a situation. Bad news in a funeral. Someone could have passed my condolences, if you are aware of this. Getting bad news, somebody could be getting bad news. Uh-huh. Of course, someone's passing is getting bad news. And someone could be fucked up over you. Yeah, overall energy. 
What else? Capricorn dealing with Libra. Capricorn's dealing with Libra. All right. Yeah, reckless sex. Reckless sex. It says love, but if it's reckless, I don't think it's love. But it says reckless love and sex, all right? People get it twisted all the time, right? Feeling like shit. Somebody feels like shit, okay? Probably because they have to tell you about a fake pregnancy or they don't know if they the father or mother. I don't know. You know, it's something like that. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's going to be for somebody. What else, spirit? Firestorm. They're going through karma. Drama, endings, loss, and a mental breakdown, okay? People spazzing out in this energy. All right, bam. We're going to take those. Somebody said goodbye to somebody, and a love child is here, okay? Someone could have made a love child. Somebody's fake busy, okay? I'm getting when it comes to the baby mama. They told them goodbye, and their way of trying to hold on to them is through this energy. Someone has feelings for someone else is what I'm getting. And they're going through a spiritual awakening, an ego death, chaos, a downworld spiral, and a spiritual awakening. Somebody's definitely going through an awakening. They could have been caught in their ego at first. I split the deck. They're looking at pictures, memories, okay? A lot of reminiscing in this energy. What else? What else? And I'm going to pull the makeshift out and we'll close out, okay? Drinking. Somebody's living a toxic lifestyle right now. Staying drunk, uh-huh, to ease the pain. You living your best life. You living in the moment, I just seen, okay? Look, this is secluded separation, reflecting, and soul searching, okay? It came out in reverse, but I feel like, you know, I'm reading this in the upright. It's a ring in someone's hand as well. Someone could definitely be separated from you doing some reflecting. We did get the four swords out here. They're ashamed, guilt, embarrassed, and in the wrong, okay? Uh-huh, because they're round and round, cycles, triggers, and lessons. Somebody feels like something just keeps going on. Like, they're being triggered by these lessons. What else, Spirit? What else? Libra's dealing with Capricorn. What else? Let's get a couple of more out here. All right. Someone could have left you hanging, no closure, no contact, on red, uh-huh. Massive regrets over that. They're going through massive regrets in the energy. Secrets, okay? Secrets are here. They need to tell those secrets. And again, they're ashamed. Overall energy running. This person could be running. You could be running away from this energy. Let's get a little more. Okay, this one wants to come out. Somebody got some thug motion going on. Somebody could be dealing with a thug. I have thug-like activities that could land them in jail. Police activities, all right? Someone's being treated like a thug. Uh-huh. What else, Spirit? Capricorn and Libra. All right. Psycho. Crazy ex. Obsess and won't let go. That's what I was feeling. I was feeling that. I was feeling like somebody don't want to let go. So you know how they do the whole baby thing or even get pregnant on purpose. You know what I mean? Look. Sex addiction. Karmic lessons comes out. Someone is losing sleep, worried, replaying everything about you. Okay? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the makeshift. Overall energy is they're fucked up over you. They are. Okay? They are. But look, this one is poking out. Things have been illuminated. The truth, discovery, and an awakening. Okay? Somebody discovered the truth in this energy. Okay? And I hope I provided clarity for you all when it comes to this truth. Let's get the makeshift out here. Beautiful ones, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. Support your tribe. Uh-huh. Yeah, Capricorns dealing with Libra. Libra dealing with a Capricorn. You know, I used to have a Capricorn friend. I don't know. He might even be watching this now, okay? Because he does lurk the page. They were alcoholic. So those addictions, I ain't got no time for it, okay? Not to say that all Capricorns are drunks or anything like that, but I'm good. Yeah, it was too many toxicities, toxic energy for me, you know? And then they try to hide it because they know that's not what you do or they know that's not who you are. 
You can only hide that type of shit for so long. Uh-uh. Nah. And as someone who grew up around drunkenness and alcoholism and being a young teenager myself, you can't hide nothing from me. I wasn't no drunk ass adult. <laughs> okay. At least not no adult. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've all been kids before. <laughs> but um yeah, man. That's wild. Let's get these makeshifts out here and see what else comes out in the energy. I done a live earlier today, so you guys can check that live out. Woo, that that energy was pretty consistent. That is somebody's story for real, for real. All type of scandalous things happening in that energy. Yeah, karmic couple. Involving a karmic couple. Okay, let me get this makeshift out here and get these energies and get ready to close out, beautiful ones. I love you. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. I'll be back today. I think I'm going to do Virgo, okay? I'm going to do Virgo. Dealing, Libra's dealing with Virgo energies, okay? Who's dealing with a Virgo? I never had a Virgo. I mean, if I did, I didn't know he was, okay? I don't know if I would get along with a Virgo. <laughs> and I'm a Virgo moon and rising. Somebody going to be too, too extra, all right? Somebody going to be too extra somewhere. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Capricorn, Dylan's with Libra. Spirit says stop there. Capricorn, Dylan with Libra, all right? More cards. Ooh. Spirit said put all of them together and get the energy out that way. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Capricorn's dealing with Libra energies. And I'll put that link, okay? Oh, don't want all of them. Just a few more, Spirit. Almost too much for my hands. All right. One more. All right. There we go. set these over here and let's see what came out let's run it let's run it these are people places persons and things that may have significance to your story be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not don't try to make it fit rich girl energy somebody comes across just you know kind of bougie got a rich girl energy to themselves okay astral travel you could be astral traveling mm-hmm yeah dreaming a lot lately Feeling unreal, but real. Sex for gifts. Somebody's down for it, okay? Someone is a serial cheater, and they have sex for gifts is what I'm getting, all right? Thin lips. Somebody has thin lips. Foreplay only. Yeah, you could be doing foreplay only. Someone could be only doing foreplay only. Somebody could be exchanging gifts and having sex for gifts. Providing foreplay only is what I'm getting as well. Okay, yeah. Well dressed, somebody likes to dress. Nice materials, threads, textures. Big brown eyes, they can have big brown eyes. A money blockage, someone is, you can't get money with this energy. This energy, you feel like your money is blocked with this person. Somebody's named Christina, Chrissy, Chrisette, Crystal, Chrishell. Insurance policy comes out. Insurance policy. I picked up on that energy earlier. Something to do with about, about an insurance policy. Someone's looking to get a gift from this insurance policy. They're looking for money, okay? Somebody's dealing with a karmic soulmate, okay? A karmic soulmate sleeps around. Who sleeps around? Wow. And does sex magic. Wow. Uh-huh. Somebody could like to wear Levi's jeans. Uh-huh, like the Levi Strauss, tarot reader, tarot reader. Somebody could be a tarot reader. Levi Strauss uh, is connected with um, San Francisco as well. Somebody could be from San Francisco. Levi Strauss, the gold mining, gold rush days. 
This is when this gene was made for those uh, people who worked as gold miners. They needed a durable material and they used the indigenous plant indigo, uh-huh. That blue tint we would see our grandmothers wear in their hair, uh-huh, at the church. Yeah, and Levi Strauss was designed. 1819, is that 1819, 1619? It's one of those, okay? Let's talk about it. It's on the back of the jeans, casino, but that year is very, somebody could be from uh, work at the casino, traveling to casino, like to gamble, it could be a big shooter, okay? Could have a residency stay as well, uh-huh, a long shark. Um, yeah, what do they call them? A high roller, a high roller, yeah. I dated a high roller. Had hotel stays in all the hotels for free, okay? Because they spent all of their money with them. Gold tooth, okay? Gold tooth are a gold, gold teeth, all right? He knows you cheat. Girl, cut it out. He knows you cheat. Okay, really smart. Somebody is really smart that can figure everything out. Uh-huh. CNA. Somebody could be a certified nurse assistant. Uh-huh. Working in a hospital or something like that. Snake friends. Somebody is around a bunch of snake friends. You know what I've been channeling? I've been channeling a fake cousin to a karmic, well, a male. A male, a masculine who has a fake friend who is like a cousin energy who is very jealous of them. I've been channeling that energy a lot lately. This energy has dreads and they're very envious of their male friend, okay? That could be for somebody. Wow, Paul is here. Somebody could be named Paul, uh-huh. Oh, heavy drinking. Someone could be heavy drinking. Someone could be an alcoholic or something like that. It came up toxic drinking and lifestyle, right? Drama is here. Lots of drama in the energy. Robert, Robbie, Rob, Robert, Roberto, Roro, and Bert. Luxury. Someone likes luxury items. John John is here. The name John, Jonathan, Jonas, Janelle, Jonathan. Money hungry. Somebody's money hungry. Okay. Scorpio. Somebody could have a Scorpio placement. Somebody needs money. Okay. Somebody is from California. Someone is having drunk sex. And someone likes to listen to Chris Brown. Beautiful ones. What is Chris Brown? What is Chris Brown sign? Let me look it up real quick. Coworker. Someone could be dealing with a coworker. Uh-huh. Yeah, someone could be dealing with a coworker. And I mean, you could work with this person. It's something significant about a coworker in this energy. You know what that is, beautiful ones. Let's see. Let's see. Chris Brown. Hmm. Interesting enough, looks like he might be a Taurus energy. Earth sign, nevertheless. Beautiful ones, this is your reading. Libra, dealing with Capricorn. I'll be back in the energy soon. I'm Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.